Let's shift now to an autonomous car that got stuck for hours today on San Francisco Street. Uh, this is the latest incident we've seen involving a driverless car suddenly just coming to a stop. It all comes amid a debate among government leaders over how to regulate the vehicles. And our ABC 7 News reporter Tim Johns earlier spoke with one person who documented the incident today. Dylan Fetterman was taking his husband to work early Friday morning when suddenly he noticed something bizarre stuck in the middle of the road. So I was like, this is kind of strange. So I started um, just videotaping. Fetterman's video shows a driverless cruise car stopped on 9th Street in San Francisco, not far from a Highway 101 exit. He says it was in the middle of the street for at least two hours and was worried about the safety risk it posed. There's a lot of EMTs that go through here, a lot of fire trucks that go through here, a lot of police that go through here. And it's just not safe to have this, this area of the street backed up. Fetterman tells me he tried reaching out to Cruz multiple times and even walked over to one of their offices just blocks away. However, he says after receiving little help, he decided to contact SFMTA. So 311 actually came out before Cruz and cited the, the vehicle. Fetterman says he's reaching out because of the safety risk he believes the vehicle posed. And he's not the only one who's spoken out in recent times. Several San Francisco city officials have raised questions about the need for further regulation on autonomous vehicles, with one supervisor tweeting about whether they add value to the city. Crew sent ABC7 News a statement Friday evening. It reads, in part, Improving road safety is our chief mission, not only for cruise passengers, but for everyone we share the road with. We're always improving our technology and apologize to anyone inconvenienced by these incidents. As for Fetterman, he thinks more oversight is the way to go. I would really like to see some kind of like legislation that, that um, enforces the need for transparency from these, these technology companies enforces them to have some way to contact them in case of an emergency. In San Francisco, Tim Johns, ABC 7 News. Crews received authorization from the CPUC in June of last year to roll out 30 vehicles in select parts of San Francisco that can carry passengers. Five months later, Waymo became the next company to get permission, and it can operate not just in San Francisco, but in several cities in the South Bay and on the peninsula. Both have applied to start charging fares and to operate around the clock. The CPUC has a hearing scheduled for June 29th.